Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a lightsaber effect for Adobe After Effects CS6. Now, I've already made this tutorial for Sony Vegas, but I haven't updated it to After Effects CS6 because you basically do the same thing that you do in Sony Vegas, so there was no reason to make a new tutorial for it. But now I've found a much more simple way of going about this. So, all you'll need is a lightsaber, and of course, After Effects. Duh. And all you'll have to do is just move your lightsaber in, in some way. You don't even have to move it. It doesn't matter. <laughs> That'll work. So now you go into After Effects. Okay, so here we are in Adobe After Effects. That's what I say every single tutorial, every single time. Anyway, so... Before we get going, I want to show you an alternate way to make a lightsaber effect real quick. So what you want to do is just take the pen tool, make sure you're not selecting your clip, otherwise it'll like be a masking tool, and then just like outline the lightsaber. I'm not going to be very exact because this is just a quick demonstration. Okay, so once you do that, then you like set the transform, click that. I'm not going to do it because I'm not going to keyframe it, but you keyframe that for every single movement. And once you've done that, duplicate it by pressing Control D. Then take the bottom one, change it to blue. There we go. Then take a fast blur. Do that for both of them. You can t use a Gaussian blur if you want, it doesn't really matter. And then you have a lightsaber effect. But I'm showing you a different, easier way than that because that's really time consuming and I'm not, it just doesn't look as good, I don't think. That's just my opinion. Anyway, so let's get to the main tutorial. What you want to do is click the second link in the description and it'll take you to here. This is a lightsaber preset for After Effects by Video Copilot. There are, is no preset like this for Sony Vegas, so that's why this tutorial is different than the other one. So anyway, what you want to do is right-click the project and go Save Target As. Save it to your desktop, or wherever you want, it doesn't matter. Then minimize that. Go take this, right-click, Extract Files, or Extract here. I'll just go with Extract Files. And then you get the folder open it, go to English or whatever your language is. I'm assuming it's English because you're watching this video though. So yeah. Anyway, once you open that you can go to here and then you have the two files for the preset. Anyway, yeah, Lightsaber version 2.1. You minimize that, then you go to Computer, OSC, Program Files, Adobe, after Effects CS6, Support Files, and then Plugins or Presets. I'm going to go with Presets. And then, um, here we go, take the folder, just take, uh, take this folder and drag it into here. I already have one there. I think I made a new one or something. But you can just drag this one there and then you open it and... Yeah, I have, I've already done it, so it's already there, so I don't really need it to do it again. So after you do that, then you can go to After Effects. So what you want to do first is just go to Layer, New, Solid. Doesn't matter which color, you can just, just make a new solid. Doesn't, the shape or anything doesn't matter. Well, maybe the shape does, but whatever. Anyway, then you go to Animation Presets. Presets or plugins, wherever you saved it. Go down to Video Copilot. Video Copilot. Scroll down. Find the lightsaber 2v1. Then don't take the lightsaber. It looks like slow, but it's really glow. Take the lightsaber version 2. And then, once you drag it on there. Let me minimize these. Once you drag it on there, you have this really tiny lightsaber as a default preset which I don't which I don't know why it's so small 
at the beginning. Wow. Then you drag it out and then set it up to cover your lightsaber. Or a stick or whatever you're using. There, that looks good. Okay, so now what you want to do is go to, well, you can mess around with these settings all you like, but what you want to do is go to start and end position and check the time, the stopwatches there. That way you can animate it. So now we're ready to begin animating. What you want to do is go ahead of frame, or you can go ahead a couple frames, and then one, and then you move it and reposition it to cover the lightsaber. And since I move forward a couple frames, if I go back a couple frames, it automatically moves it to cover those frames. So that's really cool. And it's this is a lot easier than actually like using that other method I showed you at the beginning. So I don't know if you want to watch me animating this whole thing. So I'm going to speed this footage up of me making this lightsaber. Oh, wait, 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 first, first, let's go right here. What you can do is, why did I do that? You can set the stopwatch on extend, and then you can animate it to go from zero to a hundred in a couple frames. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, I guess. Then set the extension to a hundred, Let's move it to cover the lightsaber. And then you have a nice nice little extension animation there. Oh, and before I speed this up, you can also uncheck this show glow, and that'll make it look worse. You recheck it after you finish animating, but um before you it makes it lag a lot less than it would if you just left it on. Whoa. Didn't mean to do that. Okay, anyway, I'll just stop talking and I'll speed the footage up. Here we go. Okay, now we're finished. So, let's play that back. So, that was a little laggy, so I probably showed you the ending rendered result on the screen because it didn't look very good before it was rendered. But anyway, this is like a much more simple way of going about making a lightsaber effect because it it like sets it up for you and that only took like 10 minutes versus 30 this is like a much more simple way of going about this type of effect than than using the shape tool or whatever if you watch my third lightsaber effect video um i'll put an annotation in the top left for you to go to that um yeah you'll see how much longer you can make the effects and how much easier. Anyway, I hope this tutorial was helpful. If it was, please consider liking the video. If you want to see more, subscribe, you know, all that stuff. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial or video or whatever I make. Bye.